Hey guys, Man of Stone here with you today from Stone Industries Gaming, here to give you a sneak peek on the wormhole plugin that we plan on using on our upcoming PvE and PvP servers. So stay tuned. As you may have noticed on our Discord, Ra and I have been talking about instances, clusters, server jumps, warp gates, and linking the servers together. So I'm here today to explain a little bit more in depth on how those work and how they actually connect the servers together. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at what we have going on. Alright, so let's pull up our server history, which is going to be the quickest way to get right into everything. And when the list populates, you're going to see an instance 1 and an instance 2. Our instance 1 for this test purpose is just Earth and the, and the server jump gate. And then instance two is Mars with the server jump gate. So we're going to load in here to instance one to begin our preview. All right, guys, so we have successfully loaded into instance one where you'll find the planet Earth, the warp gate, and a couple of grids here for testing purposes. So the warp gate itself is actually just a GPS coordinate. Uh, that we set up a radius on uh, and that radius is 180 meters so once you come in uh, within 180 meters that's that's when you'd actually warp if you met all the requirements uh, the gate itself is just visual uh, if you do hit into it it doesn't uh, doesn't provide any damage to your ship or take any damage and then the warp uh, the admin safe zone that we put around it uh, is actually just for protection against anybody who decides to gate camp uh, and blow up anybody who comes through so by having the larger um, admin safe zone around it people can kind of collect themselves charge their uh, warp drive if they need to get out of there or just simply fly off so what we're going to do is we're going to hop into one of these ships right here and i kind of stole off of the workshop so i do apologize for the gentleman i stole it from uh, i don't remember um, who uh, however if i do find out um, the link I will provide it in the description if anybody wanted to try out this little hauler it's actually pretty cool for going back and forth through the gate uh, it's got a cargo hold in the back and it's a nice little compact ship so what we're gonna do here now is we're going to fly up to it uh, in order to activate this you need to meet the requirements of the ship or grid being hundred percent yours there being a warp drive on the ship and it being fully charged so as you can see, it actually activated a little sooner uh, than the 180 meters. Um, what happens is a bolt of lightning comes down, it hits your player, essentially killing your player, uh, and then spawning you over in the connection, uh, the connecting instance. Uh, so as you can see, the gate itself has actually gone through the ship a couple times, and it is decorative, uh, so it does not provide any damage. You can see that we are now in the second instance, which is just Mars. Uh, the gate is actually spinning, which is a visual effect. Uh, that's actually pretty cool, and that's um, actually just done by some uh, some gyroscopes. It's not even it's not even rotors. Um, so for the sake of jumping back, I have a fleet of more haulers um, that we're going to hop into and start our journey on our way back. Um, now, basically, what this instancing system uh, with the wormhole plugin. Uh, which is brought to us by, as a special shout out, Princess Kenny. Without Princess Kenny, this plugin would not function. I know several other people have been trying to get something like this to work, uh, and he's the first one that I have come across that actually made it happen. Uh, so this really opens up our, our community to the potential of having multiple servers that are all linked together. Um, as you can see, it is super easy to jump from one server to another um, and as long as we link the mods the block mods um, across all of the servers as the same uh, you shouldn't have any issues with your grids uh, going from one server to another um, we are um, going to have other mods like the mpc mod and a couple other um, mods separate from one server to another uh, custom planets and stuff like that but that will not affect your sh your grids jumping from instance to instance. Um, so what this allows people to do is easily trans transport you know, their entire base if they wanted to grind it down, pack it up uh, from one instance to another and allow players if they wanted to for a couple hours in an afternoon uh, or whatnot to hop over from a PvE instance to a PvP instance. So that really uh, basically makes it 
you know the potential of this mod unlimited uh, we do plan on having multiple uh, multiple gates and each gate could connect to other gates not just one single gate that's something that we're going to be working on in the future um, getting set up so before we conclude today's tutorial video on using the wormhole plugin I would like to say that not all the jumps are successful uh, while in this video we have made only successful jumps every once in a while a player is separated from their ship um, and then basically given the normal respawn list as you are entering an SE server. So what we do recommend is that all players that are planning on transitioning from one instance to another to um, provide a uh, respawn point on their ship. Uh, what ends up happening when a player is separated from their ship is the ship is located right outside the gate. Uh, the player just didn't happen to spawn in the cockpit. Uh, I'd say it happens probably I don't know, five to ten percent of the time, and it's it, as long as you have a respawn point on your ship, it's it's only a minor inconvenience. Uh, so with that said, this uh, this plugin is very um, stable, and we haven't had any testing issues with it, uh, and it really opens up the opportunity for us to expand uh, in our SE universe uh, and offer more to our community members. So we're really looking forward to putting this on our upcoming PVE and PVP servers. Uh, so if you haven't already, please make sure that you join our discord community there will be a link below as well as hitting the like and subscribe buttons because we do have future content planned um, maybe next we'll go over the hangar module which uh, which could be just as useful as this um, and once we launch those new servers we are going to be doing some in-depth reviews and showing some player spotlights on their builds so definitely stay tuned as we have a lot of content coming up and thank you for joining us here manistone out